It's been seven weeks since the beginning of the semester, and our Built Worlds and You team is deep into the research assignment. For our entry this week, we visited the team in their natural habitat of Northwestern University to check them out and catch them in action. My name is Annie Kopp, and I am the safety supervisor. My name is Connie. I'm technically the secretary. Jason Yolo. Uh, my role on the team is I'm the client contact, so I uh, am the one that sort of makes sure to keep in touch with Built Worlds. Patrick Peng, uh, I handle purchasing. Brendan O'Connell, I'm one of the project managers on this team along with Tim. Will you tell us when to go? Oh, Connie, what is this machine? Who do you think has been your team's all-star of it now? <laughs> <laughs> That's really tough. Well, honestly, Tim has, um, he's really been, uh, he's killing it, really. I would say Tim. Some people might think, I'm, so Tim and I have been dating for two years. Uh, people might think I'm biased, but Tim is really sort of like the uh, technical stronghold of the team. I'm Tim Stead, project manager. What we're trying to do with this project is um, we're really trying to work in with what Built Worlds is doing, bridge a gap between these construction companies that you know maybe are a little bit slower to adapt some of these up and coming technologies in the field of 3D printing and um, additive manufacturing. Um, so last week we created a bunch of mock-ups for deliverable for our class. Mm -hmm. The first was the position system, so how uh, the nozzle and extruder are controlled. Second part was the actual, lead, actual delivery system, which is right now a pressure vessel. And the third part were uh, various nozzles that control the extrusion of the concrete. We're in the Ford machine shop. This is where all of the engineering for all engineering projects occurs. Can I redo that? I'm doing the sandblaster. This is my favorite machine. It's capable of cutting through multiple inches of steel. We really wanted to tackle this, like, making a concrete 3D printer, which seems like a really cool idea. Since we only have seven weeks, we have to rely on a lot of current on-market solutions. All the testing we're going to have to do, it's really, it's really turning into a big task. Just my little bit concerned that we might not have anything. There's just not enough time. 